Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right. All right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. All right. So I'm going to be talking about, um, you know, what, what's going on in the comment section here on Dorsey's video. Because I saw it and, I, and it made me realize what God has been telling people over the last couple of weeks. He was like, you know, your enemies are, are um, your enemies are, 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 are things are going to backfire in your enemies over these next several months and, and by the end of the year your enemies will everything that your enemies are saying to you will backfire and they will have regret and or shame on them and all types of stuff and you will be victorious and so god's been saying that to a lot of people lately and probably he said it to you uh lately as well and he said you know your co-workers that are you know, coming at you they're gonna be you know they're, they're, they're gonna see my full power by the end of this year and um and they they will regret coming after you and so i'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are gone are going through that right now um and uh things like that so either co-workers or your bosses your your uh, managers your uh regional managers are on your neck or whatever whoever's on your neck your family members your friends trolls on the internet um you know god's been saying that you know to many people lately that you know, it, the time has come where the second half of the year into next year, you're going to see a lot of people are going to a lot of people that have said a lot of things to us. It's all going to boomerang back to them and they're going to be in the ones that are going to be shamed and, and they're going to be the ones, you know, going through uh, the, the struggle and stuff. And you're going to be the one excelling and prospering. So I just wanted to get that out there. Um, this is a video that Dorsey did about Alex Jones was right and he says the evidence is in my previous videos prior to this one and i did post that previous video uh and i did you know in 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 pieces right because i didn't show the whole thing um the reason why i didn't show the whole thing because some of the things i couldn't put on my channel because <laughs> youtube would have by you know went in and and and, and gave some stuff got, got some things right did some, do some things i don't know i don't know what youtube would have done but they would they would they wouldn't have been happy right so so I took some stuff out that I thought was really controversial and stuff that I didn't want YouTube to, I didn't want you, I didn't want to be on the channel. Um, so I did cut and piece of that up and I didn't show the whole video, right? I left maybe 40 minutes out of it or 30 minutes out of it. I'm not sure. So I cut it up in three pieces, but I cut a lot of stuff out of there. Um, and this one I'm not posting. Um, not no reason why, because I already did, and he already talked about Alex Jones and the other ones. So I don't want two videos of about with Alex Jones in it. There's no need for that. But I do want to talk about the comment section here because there was one guy trolling down here or whoever this person is. I don't know what they are. Um, and and so this and this reminded me when I saw this comment section, I was like, I was like, this is what God's been talking to many people about. That you know, people who are dissing you. And I don't I don't know this person, so I'm not sure. I don't know what this person has any what beef he has with Dorsey. Maybe this person hates Alex Jones with all their heart, and uh, maybe this person is liberal. Maybe this person um, is um, loves the beast system and the mark of the beast and the mind control of liberalism. Hey, that's their prerogative. They can do whatever they want. Okay. Um, so, but it did it did bring me back to what God's been saying to people that. You know, all the stuff that we're going through in the second half of this year, or all the stuff that we went through in the first half of this year and the last year, you know, in the last three years in the bear cycle and all these other things and waiting for the reset and all these things in the dinar and all this, a lot of people are bashing us because they're at the boiling point. Everybody's at the boiling point. Everybody's at a boiling point. And when that, when the system, when the boiling point bur bursts, which means the, the financial system breaks, 
we're going to have a break in the financial system, we're going to see a lot of people on the wrong side. And a lot of people that are on the wrong side, a lot of them are going to be the people that were making fun of you, saying you're worthless, saying nothing's going to happen, you're broke. I mean, look what this guy, this guy, old girl, is saying here. I'm not sure what the name is. E. I don't even know how to say the name. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't want to jack it up. But um, but it says Dorsey, how much are your Iraqi dinars worth? So you can already tell that they don't even they 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 believe the dinars worthless. Um. They probably hate Alex Jones. They're probably liberal. They're probably um, they probably like MSNBC and and Fox and Fox and uh, and CNN. And you know they probably are into the beast system and the, and the beast mind control in the media. And if that's them. That's what they're, they that's what they want to do. Right? They have free will to do that. Um, and uh, and they also have free will to troll as well. You know, and Dorsey's thing. Dorsey left it up, and probably Dorsey left it up probably because. He wants to show that once everything turns around and the financial system does break and, and we do get the reset of currencies and we do get these things, these people are on the wrong side, right? And so maybe, and, you know, a lot of people that are that, that are coming at us or coming at Dorsey or coming at you or coming at me or coming at other people and, uh, in, in, you know, that are trying to do good for humanity and, and are part of the God or, or, or in the God's kingdom and godly kingdom, you know, a lot of people are saying a lot of stuff, but you know, when these things finally do take place and we do um, get, you know, we do get some of the wealth transfer here um, really kicking off, then a lot of these people are going to uh, come back and they're going to quickly come back to delete their comments and stuff because it's going to be embarrassing. Some of them are going to leave it up because they don't care. Uh, they're evil and, and that's what they do and they, they, they troll and that's what they don't care if they're wrong. The whole point is to make you angry and mad and get you off your course so that you can sell and be angry with them. Um, so the Iraqi dinar is worth money. Um, 1 million dinar is worth, I think, and somewhere in between 900 to 1200 dollars. So that is worth money. Um, it's not worth a lot of money for 1 million total uh, currencies, but it, they're, they're not free yet. You know, they have to go through their freedom and their freedom is their, is the grave surrender of the proxies and the militias. Once you see that, then it's set free. Then they're set free. And then you can see all the reforms and stuff. We talk about it all the time on Patreon. Okay. Now, he says, flat broke Dorsey. So, I guess he's calling Dorsey broke. He doesn't know Dorsey. He doesn't know what Dorsey had. Dorsey, Dorsey might have a lot of money. He might be invested in a lot of gold and silver um, just because he's not flashy and stuff. We don't know what these people have. You don't have to be flashy, guys, bro. You know, it's one of the mistakes that we make is being all types, being very flashy and think that people, because you're flashy, you have money. And if you're silent, you don't have any money. And in the meantime, Dorsey could have a nice 401k, nice pension. He could have, um, he could have, you know, 100,000 in gold, 100,000 in silver. We don't know. He could have antiques. He could have, uh, he could have, um, a a, a a life insurance policy or something you know he could have all types of stuff maybe maybe his parents have life insurance policy of a million dollars for him you know who knows we don't know right um so how do you know dorsey's broke you know what i mean like like you know just because he lives in and in, uh, in his own apartment and and he works night shift doesn't mean that you're broke you know just because he complains about um, you know, that, you know, not being able to cash out uh, in, in the Pastor Tony King stuff doesn't mean that you're broke. OK, so doesn't mean that you're broke. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. But we can't just say stuff because of what we see on social media. Um, you know, what I mean, social media is a, is a very, very deceiving platform. And so we can't just say that somebody's broke because they don't spend money or because they live in an apartment or in a room or in this down. They, they, there's a, there are people that live in basements and they, they're worth three million dollars. And so, you know, what I mean, like people live in studios in, the, in, in San Francisco and they make a million dollars a year because it, that is, it costs. So the studio is like two thousand dollars a month. So, you know, what I mean, like. Are, are they broke? You know what I mean? So uh, they make $3 million a year, but they live in San Francisco, so they live in a studio. They don't even have their own bedroom. So it's like, are they broke? No, right? So we can't really judge people like that. And um, and so it is what it is, right? And then the last thing the person said is, LOL, this guy is losing it. Yeah, maybe he is losing it a little bit, you know, because he's angry 
of the situation and what's going on. So the fact that this person said that this guy is losing it when he's talking about when Dorchi's talking about the mainstream media and the propaganda and the and the sick agendas of the satanic world and the satanic uh, Illuminati tells you that this person is probably liberal because no Republican or no conservative person or golly person would say something like that to somebody that's disgusting. Alex Jones, the conspiracy stuff, the, the governments, the, the propaganda, the mainstream media, the Illuminati. If, you if you're saying when somebody's discussing that and you're saying that they're losing it, then you're probably for that. You're probably liberal. You know, you're probably for that and that agenda. And you're probably making fun of people that are against it, you know, and, and you call them conspiracy theorists. But yet a lot of the conspiracy theories have been correct over the last 20 years. Right. And um, so it's kind of interesting that you know, people still try to shame people that they, they call conspiracy theorists. But yet the conspiracy theorists have been right a lot more than, <laughs> than anybody else over the last 10, 15 years. The conspiracy the conspiracy theorists have been right about everything. Epstein, Epstein Island, you guys thought that was a joke as well. This guy, this guy's losing it over Epstein. There's no island in Epstein. There's no list. And then the Epstein Island does exist. And then the list does comes out. And then it's, uh oh, let me go shut up. Let me, let me delete my accounts. Right. And then so you see that over and over and over again. No, Hillary Clinton didn't do anything. And then you, Hillary Clinton did this, 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 this. Oh, snap. Never mind. Obama had a, a, a non scandal presidency. Then you list everything Obama did that was scandalized, that was scandals. And it's like, oh, snap. Right. When the evidence drops, it's like people go quiet. Right. It's like because it's so easy to just shout out things. And then but then when when he acts, when Dorsey's actually listing the evidence of the scandals and stuff, that's when people get angry. They want to they want Dorsey just to shut up and say, yeah, Obama had a scandal free presidency. But then when Dorsey actually gives you the details of the scandals in great detail and that, that you can't deny it. Then he's losing it, you see, because you want him to just to go along with the propaganda, the beast media, the beast system, and he's not going to do that. Right? And I'm not doing that either. I don't care. Man, I'm not doing that. And the godly people are not supposed to be doing that. We're godly people. We're supposed to be um, outside of the world. We're not supposed to be participating in the beast system. We're supposed to be using it towards our advantage and then to spread the gospel. But we're not supposed to be agreeing with, yeah, Obama didn't have a, Obama was great. Biden is great. And this person is great when we know they're not. They weren't. Right. <laughs> you know, what do you want him to do? Lie, you know, and deceive his, his main core for one person, for you. That's crazy. But this is what they want, you know. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that's all I have. Um, just wanted to keep uh, talk about that because it resonates with what God has been telling people lately that a lot of people that have been coming after you are uh, he's going to flip the script in the second half of the year and into next year um and um, a lot of these people are going to be are going to regret uh coming after you because a lot of things that they're saying are going to finally happen you know um you know there's no reset there's no this there's no that all these people that are saying all these things you're broke you're this you're just this, this. and all of a sudden you're no longer broke there's a reset the dinari finally revalues because they're free, uh, you know, um, the markets finally get a bull cycle and you make a million dollars or more or whatever, you become a billionaire or a millionaire or whatever. All of a sudden, these people that were making fun of you, they didn't participate in any of these things. So they're they're at their nine to five and they're just they're just they're de deleting everything that they said on social media or they're ignoring the crap out of you and pretending you don't exist because they see you shining now. And now they hate you even more because you were right, right? Instead of just saying, man, my bad, bro. Dang, I was tripping. They now hate you. They, instead of doing that, that, that's fine. But instead of doing that, they now hate you more because you were actually right and they were wrong. And now you're shining even more. Now you're wealthy while they're stuck at nine to five. So now they hate you even more. Instead of doing, instead of thinking the other way and saying, dang, hey, Dorsey, my bad, bro. Hey, hey, hey. A currency or this person, a a um a TC or a, a prophetess, a Shella, a this or that, and whoever you're dissing, whoever you're dissing, you know, 
hey, 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 John, hey, Mike, hey, Michael, hey, Steven, I was wrong. I was wrong, man. I was wrong. Dang, you guys are right, man. Uh, hey, I give it to you. Shout out to you, man. Go ball out. That's how real people and, like, genuine people and people that actually are nice people, that's how they respond back when they do something wrong. They don't go, oh, man, this dude was right. Dang, man, this dude balling now. Man, I hate him more. I hate him even more now, man. Dang. That's we, you know, normal. Normal people don't act like that, and and won't wouldn't act like that, right? You admit you're wrong. You admit you were tripping. You admit you you were in your feelings or some way, uh, because you thought Dorsey or whoever was putting out information you didn't agree with, and then it comes out to be right. You're like, man, my bad, man. I was tripping. I was in a tripping moment. I was had a lot of problems going on in my life, and you know, I was just tripping, man. My bad, right? So. We'll see how a lot of these people handle it once all these things happen and and um and we're sitting there smiling and and um and that includes family members, coworkers, business partners, um, that don't agree with you and agree with your ways, um, and everybody else, people in the gym, people the <laughs> yeah, barbers, whatever it is. There's a lot of people a lot a lot of us are by ourselves. A lot of us are 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 are, are living a life of alone. Because nobody agrees with that. Everybody agrees with the beast, right? Most people agree with the beast and the image of the beast, and they have been deceived by the beast and the image of the beast. That's why we're by ourselves. You know, a lot of people are by themselves with few friends because most of the people believe in the beast and the image of the beast. And unfortunately for them, when they destroy this fiat system and they and they start resetting everything and they do all these things they're going to realize that they've been deceived and by the beast and the image of the beast and it's going to be too late for them now some of us might pull them up with our resources and our wealth but a lot of them are not going to be pulled up a lot of them are going to be handed over to the beast and the image of the beast and they're going to realize that they that was the mistake and there's no coming back from it right and so um, unfortunately, that's going to be a lot of people. We can't save everybody, um, but uh, you know, people that are in our immediate family, uh, they're, they're going to most likely have get grace from us, right? Because they were part of our bloodline. But other people, you know what I mean, like you know, some of them are going to go on the wayside, unfortunately. So when everything breaks and, and everything, the system breaks and, and we get the resets and stuff and things happen and the markets go parabolic and the dollar is tanking and all these things are happening, it's it's going to be a scary time. But it's also going to be a an awesome time for those that were on the right side of things and those people that were prepared for the reset. Peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.